welcome to my tutorial on how to make a rainbow paper pinwheel that spins. I will get you started by telling you what you will need to make this super duper fun craft, which by the way, you can make with your kids if you want. You will need paper, colorful cardstock of course, but really you can make it any color. I'm gonna do rainbow because why wouldn't I do rainbow? So you will need eight squares of paper. Um, these are about four inches. I would say cut your squares four to five inches. Um, just depends on how big you like it. So whatever size works best for you. And you will need eight, eight squares of paper. You will need a thumbtack, glue, scissors, and of course, since I can't stop talking about my favorite wood, the dowel, you will need one of those. Of course, if you don't have a dowel kicking around, I'm sure you can find something else in your home that you could substitute. This is gonna be the base for the pinwheel, obviously. So it needs something to spin on. And I, I think that's it, other than, oh, well, as always, hydrate. Let's be responsible people. Oh, shit. Michael, you can edit that out, okay? The part where I spilled my drink. Yes, as I was saying, <laughs> hydrate, because uh, if you're going to craft, do it safely, right? Health first. Cheers, everybody. Let's do this. If you're going to make a rainbow paper pinwheel, as I am, you will need eight squares of paper in all different colors. If you are not making rainbow pinwheel and you just wanna do whatever colors you like, you obviously don't need eight squares. You would just need uh, four squares and double up on your colors because what we're doing here is we're actually gonna end up with eight triangles. So you're gonna cut your squares across the diagonal like that. And oh, that's not very nice, but to me. Um, so you will have this guy, which I'm going to sub out for the one I did before, which was a little straighter, and you will have these eight guys here. So one in every color. I think that adds up, right? I'm no mathematician, but I think that makes sense. Eight squares of different colors, eight triangles, or four squares, and you can make eight triangles out of four squares. Yes! I got the math right. Think. Okay, so you've got your triangles. Next thing is you need to cut out two little circles here. One is going to be the base that you're gonna start gluing all of the triangles onto, and then a smaller one that's gonna go on the front there just to neaten everything up. So starting with your larger circle and your first triangle color which in this case obviously is red since we're doing the whole rainbow thing so one by one you are going to put a little glue on the tip just the tip of each triangle just the tip and you're going to start gluing them to your circle in a particular pattern which I'm going to show you so aim for the middle like that oh and actually give that first one, whatever color it may be, doesn't matter. Give that a little bend, and you'll see why at the very end. It just makes it easier. So aim for the middle there, and hold that for a minute. Or I mean a second, not a minute. Again, math, not my strong suit. Okay. And then your next color. A little bit on the tip there. Just the tip. And you're going to put it right in the center of that first triangle, like that. And you guessed it, you are going to repeat that with all of your remaining colors. Pretty easy stuff. Okay, and then when you get to your last triangle, this is where you do things just a wee, wee, wee bit differently. Get your glue on there. And then, as you see, we 
folded that first triangle so it's sticking up a little bit, which helps us at this point, because we are just going to lift it up just a little bit like that. And we're going to put this one underneath it. Like that. Et voila. to start making this bad boy into a pinwheel. Maybe let it dry for a minute or so first. And speaking of dry. Mm. Oh, that's good water. Excellent. Okay, where were we? A few moments later. And this is where the magic starts to happen. Wow. So. One by one, we're gonna bring these little triangles into the center. And just like this. Now you do have to hold it there for a couple seconds, otherwise if you let go prematurely, don't ever let go prematurely, okay? Um, phrasing? We bounce right back to where you started. Oops, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> look how pinwheely it's starting to look already. That's so cool. Oh my god, what the hell? Really? It's gonna make me look like an asshole here, Pinwheel. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, you're pissing me off now, Pinwheel. Really pissing me off. Oh, <laughs> hot tip. This actually is way easier with hot glue. Yeah, and of course I have a hot glue gun. And I could do it with hot glue, but I wanted to show you how to do it with stuff that everyone, civilians, you know, non-crafters would have at home. So there we are. Ooh, 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 look at that. Is it just me or is it already spinning? No, just me? Okay. After you have press down on that for about a minute. Uh, it should be pretty stuck, I think. So at that point, you're gonna want to add your little circle that you cut out at the beginning. Put that right in the center, and that's going to anchor everything down nicely, and it's gonna give you a nice little center point to put your pin through, which we are going to do momentarily. Holy cow, you guys, we are down to the final step, which is, of course, pinning the pinwheel to your dowel. So get yourself a thumbtack right in the center of your circle here and pierce it. Going 
to do your best to get it onto your dowel. Nice and tight. Okay. It does take a little bit of pressure. Whack it, I guess, with something too to just kind of like hammer it in there a little bit. I'm gonna crack it. Okay, I think that's in there quite well. And now, moment of truth time. So here you are, your beautiful rainbow paper pinwheel that actually spins. <laughs> Look at that, not bad, huh? Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoy making your rainbow paper pinwheel. And if you did, please do subscribe to my channel so you will get alerts when I post new videos, making new fun stuff that anybody can do because I don't do anything that's extraordinary. Although this, I mean, actually, <laughs> that is kind of extraordinary. Uh, but anyway, until next time, have fun, be safe, and remember, if you're not having fun crafting, you're doing it wrong.